It's a hot one out here today, y'all. That don't change nothing. Got to be sensible. Stay hydrated. More importantly, be smart enough to know when to do what you need to do. It's morning time. Out and about doing my regular one, two. Wife done bust her moves already. Listen, it's never too late to be great. Tap into your greatness. Take yourself to new heights that you never thought that you could make. We on it, y'all. Rain and rainy's on the rise. Going to the next level, baby. Let's go. Let's go. I'm talking to you. Let's go. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answer to no man, I still go. Go, 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 go. So what's going on, family? We out here, Saturday morning. And more Saturday morning cartoons. Now it's all about moving and grooving. Out here kind of in a conversation, man. We are working on our next segment with the channel. You know, my wife came up with a great concept. That once we start getting it rocking and rolling, we'll let y'all see it. You know, what you said was called, babe, what you, what you want to work on? 100 Days to the Stage. Right, and what is that consistent about? What is that about? me getting ready for a fitness competition in October. Okay. Okay. So it's a great thing, man. You know, like I said, you know, this channel was built on us trying to tap into our greatness. You know, for those who don't know, she's been on a journey for quite some time now. You know, just getting into her fitness, her, her fitness, her health, her spiritual, mental health, and all of those things in between. And now, you know, like she said, she's embarking on a journey. Well, she's going to be gracing the stage, prayerfully with a with a, with a with a great outcome. So, we're going to take y'all on that journey. It's going to be some days of of fun and building and growth and development. Can't wait for y'all to see it. And guess what we discovered, y'all? Guess when it actually starts? The one hundred day one until then. On her birthday. On her birthday. It's time to lock down the door. It's gonna be good. I'm losing, I'm going off. And just like that is on, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Got the birthday queen out. Y'all know what we do all the time. I talk about it. It's never, you know, either or, it's always both. We're on our way to go and have a good old birthday celebration. Little date night, man. You know what I'm saying? Little date night. You know, we took a little time, hooked up with the kids earlier, did a little something. I'm quite sure we'll do something more with them over the weekend. It's Friday night, y'all. We're on our route right now to, uh, you know, our dinner reservation plans. It's going to be a great night. At this point, y'all know what's going on. What else today marks? It marks the queen, you know, birthday. But it also marks day 100 in a sense counting backwards to 100 days to the stage if you guys didn't see that yet make sure you check it out on the actual the uh, channel man make sure y'all check that out you know i was proud of her today y'all she was talking i wasn't nowhere around she did her thing we on our way right now to go and celebrate that birthday please leave it down in the comments tell her happy birthday y'all i'm quite sure to make her day On our way to get our good eat on. Let me focus on this road. So, I think we are. We're. I think we're where it's where we're supposed to be. But I guess I'm gonna have to find out in a minute. Um, slightly behind in reservation time. Uh, sprinklers was on. I don't know about where y'all at, but. Right now, we got this heat wave joint jumping off. And to be honest with you, it is, uh, it has been an issue. Yeah, it's been an issue. This is it. Be here. Give y'all a little bit of footage before we go in here. I don't know how the people feel about, you know, everywhere we go, everybody not cool with just, you know, having you know, place being recorded and all that and kind of stuff. Mile, turn left onto Fry's Mill Road. So we're going to see. But we are here. 
not that late. Reservation was at 7.30 or 7.39. So, hopefully I'll go in and I parked in the right place and we'll get tonight's festivities on the road, on the road. We run a little bit behind. One thing about my wife, and I will say, is always an outstanding quality. You know, she is a, a, a stickler for being on time. We're a couple minutes late, but I wanted y'all to see, you know. It's a nice looking place, man. Hopefully, like I said, I parked in the right spot. We're going to see right now. As I walk up. Oh, yeah. Birthday night, man. You know, as a as a speaker who is consistently always promoting motivation, I want to say that it is highly important. It's very important that you make sure that you find time to create some kind of peace within yourself. If that means finding a location that you probably really wouldn't come to, I mean, right now tonight we're at a golf. I don't even play golf. Neither one of us. But just the serene, you know, sounds of things like, you know, what I mean, a koi pine and all those kind of things. Those things to me are what puts you in the mindset of being able to understand that you can have everything that you want in life. You know what I mean? Got up this morning, I'm proud of my wife. She got up and did her regular one-two, got her workout in. I mean, grinded it out, y'all. I'm outside in the heat. I'm, like I said, right now we got heat waves going on where we are. Yet we made sure that we stayed on our ground. It's important. It's important to make sure that you put yourself in positions where you can find a way to have peace. Anyway, just wanted to take you guys on a walk through this situation. Like I said, just look at the surroundings. Beautiful. Beautiful. If you ever get a chance, like I said, check it out. Scotland, run. Somewhere in South Jersey. Beautiful place. All right, let me get on over here before she think I'm missing. All right, baby. A lot of music ain't playing. Happy birthday to the queen, y'all. Listen, hey, real quick, guys. I had to get a video with the with the professionals. It was it was amazing. Did not know that we were going to be in for that kind of treat tonight. Did not know at all. 
but nonetheless here we are you guys just tell them what your names are again and what you guys do in terms of like diving i mean i'm diving i'm sorry skydiving for lack of terms yeah so, i'm brian okay okay how long you been doing this is this your first time this is not my first time no <laughs> okay. that, was, that was my 280th skydive okay um so we're students at the united states naval academy okay and we're on a, in an extracurricular club there where we're on the parachute team okay and we do a mix of sports skydiving and demonstration skydiving to Absolutely. represent the naval academy great wow so you said it's your 200 and 80th my gosh you sir. Yeah, so my name is Vince from uh, Ketchikan, Alaska. I'm also a uh, midshipman at the United States Naval Academy. That was my 353rd jump, and I've been jumping for the last two years. Oh my gosh. Well, listen, guys, I am thoroughly impressed. I just came out to take my wife out for a birthday dinner. That's yeah. all I did. I did not know that I was going to be in the presence of two professionals <laughs> jumping out treat. of the sky. Actually, oh my gosh. Beautiful now, sunset. Yes! Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Now I was concerned because there was another person that seemed like they were off in the distance behind the trees over there. I don't know if you guys know anything about that. Well, that's where we came from. The airport and the drop zone is over there. So we've been jumping there all morning. We all right, y'all. We all right. Yeah. We all right. Yeah. Yeah. I was concerned. It works out. Yeah. Everyone made it back. Okay. Yeah. That's, yep. what, that's what matters more than anything yeah. else. You know what? This is what I be talking about, guys. This is what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? When you tap into your greatness like these gentlemen do, <laughs> you jump out 280 plus times and you find yourself in a position to be able to continuously do it in a beautiful sunset in a nice place we're at beautiful right now. Beautiful location. Beautiful location here in Scotland Run in South Jersey. I'm telling you guys, if you didn't have a chance to check it out yet, please come and check it out. More or less, you might, you might be lucky like we were to be able to have a night you get some, you know, some skydivers, some professional <laughs> skydivers. I'm not there yet. If I keep recording, maybe eventually I'll get to that point. But guys, I want to thank you. Awesome. Thank you thank for taking you the so time much. to speak to us. Thank you, sir. You know what I mean? <laughs> Look, y'all, tap into your greatness. This is yep. unbelievable. <laughs> oh, yeah. Birthday shout outs. Snag on music. Hope y'all saw it, man. I'm gonna try to blur out some of this music in the background. Anyway, hope y'all saw it, man, when I was talking to the brothers after they did their amazing skydiving. My hat goes off to them. You know, I hope you guys keep enjoying life and keep living it to the fullest and having more moments like that. But that was impressive. I don't know if I could have did it. Maybe I could have if I saw it. That was a 288th or something like that. Y'all saw it in the video. Wow. Impressive. Very impressive. Let me give my life. One of the things about being a an event planner is that you are consistently always looking for different places to have venues. To have events. To have, to have events. Could you explain to them what's the difference between this, the venue and this an event? is the venue. <laughs> the venue is the place. Okay. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. No, I'm with you. Okay. Did that how many years Did ago? You. How many how, how many years ago you did that, baby? Twenty-two. Oh yeah. Wow. And I guess if you stand up here, it's nice to have a fan. You got a fan up here in the ceiling. I did, but you can tell them. Where are we currently at, honey? I just told them. Say it again. Scotland Run. Why do you? <laughs> <laughs> because I got to make sure I get you in the light. Well, y'all, getting ready to head on in. Beautiful night. Beautiful birthday dinner. I can't speak for the queen, but I was a baby. Did you enjoy yourself? Yes, it was nice. Y'all ain't get to get this. Y'all ain't get to see no shoulder, baby. You ain't showing none of the oh shoulder dance, and the, they ain't, she ain't dropped none of the shoulder dance for y'all. I guess she a year older, y'all. She she more okay, conservative. You see. Oh, okay. Excuse me. Yes, she did. Just drop a little shoulder. Anyway, y'all, great night, great experience once again here at Scotland Run. Got to see some skydiving. I forgot. Oh my goodness, y'all. We forgot to get the food. Food was, what do you think? No, I, we didn't forget the food. You were too busy playing, um, you know, interviewer. So right, what you think about the food, though? <laughs> it was fine. We had a great time, y'all. 
had some good food, you know, some good entertainment with the skydiving and all of that. But more importantly, we had a great opportunity just to spend some time together and enjoy each other's company as we say each and every time. It's never either or, it's always both. Your rain and rainies are on the rise. You can only see my dress. <laughs> Got something you want to say on the way out of there, baby? Peace. Peace?